Hi, I'm Rebecca Samanga Frank, and this is my mom. Gail, you're Frank. <laughs> That's fine. Mom, can you summarize the Dybbuk in 60 seconds? Go. Here's what I'd say. The Dybbuk is like the Shakespeare of Jewish culture. It's Romeo and Juliet, but it takes place here and in the other world. So the plot is that there are two young people, they fall in love, they're not allowed to marry because the girl is promised to somebody else. When her beloved hears that, he dies. And when she's about to be married, the strangest thing happens, that she's seconds. talking in this strange voice. She's talking in a male voice, and she refuses to get married. And that's the divot. She's possessed. And it's not until a rabbinic court convenes and discovers that long ago, the parents of the two made a promise to each other that they would marry their children one to the other. And when this is finally cleared up, Leah, the girl, dies and joins Cinder in the great beyond. Perfect. Okay. So what do you remember about the opening of the Dybbuk? Ah, uh, the opening of the Dybbuk takes place in a synagogue in... <laughs> the opening of Somewhere. the Dybbuk... Somewhere. The opening of the Divic takes place in a synagogue in the Ukraine. I don't know if it's the Ukraine. Let's just scratch that. Okay. The opening of the Divic takes place in a synagogue at night. It's dark. And the old men and the yeshiva students are there. Candles are lit. Show lights candles, starts setting up the space. She hums, sings. They're like a then. They're studying, they're davening, they're, um, they're talking, <laughs> and the um, young man, Sender, is off doing some strange prayers. That will magically allow him to marry the love of his life. Oh, this is great. And then? And he, he faints and he dies. And when she's going to be married, the bridegroom's family is coming and the wedding is prepared and she's dancing with the local uh, women. And the strange voice comes out of her mouth, a man's voice. I can't breathe. <laughs> and they realize that she's been possessed. Help me. Her body is racked with someone else's pain. I was just going home. I'm preparing for my Jewish wedding. So this is part one of this black Jewish Dybbuk experience. And a group of young organizers and activists and lawyers uh, that are black Jews come together to study and celebrate Jewish holidays and um, talk about what's happening in the world. And on this day, it's the day after the Chauvin trial, and they've all just learned of the guilty verdict. And um, they've been following closely the case of Elijah McClain. So, here we go.
there an echo in here? Reverend Sharpton to my left, Reverend Jesse Jackson to my right. Been fighting a long time. We are here because of you. Thank you. I wanna thank the defense, the whole legal team, the witnesses, the brave witnesses, everybody, the judge, the jury for bringing us this guilty verdict today for justice for Elijah. You really think that's possible? Let me. <laughs> yes, I do, I do. Justice for George Floyd means justice is possible. So many things are possible. And I'd like to thank special thanks to the Black Jews for Liberation, a group of young activists, future lawyers and organizers in the fight for justice for all people. And in this case, you have worked tirelessly, put your heart, your souls, your brains into this effort. And today, victory is ours. <laughs> Who are you being right now? I'm uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the family. And now, ooh, and now we are going to hear from one of Elijah's friends. No. A kindred spirit. Stop it. Brother Lev, would you speak from your heart on this special day? Elijah was brave. And I think he's brilliant. I mean, have you read, listened, really listened to his words? And he left us with. He holds up a piece of paper. He's carrying around Elijah's last words, printed out and highlighted with notes words, the transcript from his last moments with us before he was stolen. I can't breathe. I have my ID right here. My name is Elijah McLean. That's my house. I was just going home. I'm an introvert. I'm just different. That's all. I'm so sorry. I have no gun. I don't do that stuff. I don't do any fighting. Why are you attacking me? I don't even kill flies. I don't eat meat, but I don't judge people. I don't judge people who do eat meat. Forgive me. All I was trying to do was become better. I will do it. I will do anything. Sacrifice my identity. I'll do it. You are all phenomenal. You are beautiful and I love you. Try to forgive me. I'm in a mood. I'm a mood Gemini. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ow, that really hurt. You are all very strong. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to do that. I just can't breathe correctly. Teachings. Don't kill flies. Don't eat meat. Don't judge people for eating meat. Don't judge people, period. Forgiveness. I will sacrifice my identity. Thou shalt not identify too much with the small self. Affirmations of beauty and love. Love always, even when being brutalized. He's a prophet. He can change the world. We can change the world with his message. He can live in any living vessel open and willing to receive him. Any vessel of love on any day, in any moment. If we are 
open. We can receive. God, I wish I'd met you. We should have both grown old. You're beautiful. You're phenomenal. And I love you. Elijah. God, where is everyone? Well, Bill is about to get married. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting ready yeah. for COVID wedding. I sent him a message with our love, and, and I was freaking out a bit about the verdict and the next steps, and Bill, be Bill actually <laughs> just hit us back with a message. Um, let me pull that up. And Delvin's here, too, but he's... Um, Oh. Here, here, he's streaming a game, leading a charge, or whatever it's called on Twitch. Um, I'm the messenger, Delvin. I'm new to this group. He said he'd join us later. Okay, here it is. Regarding your thoughts on the verdict, I think it's fine, it's good. It's, I don't know, yeah. I just want to caution you not to get too caught up in the political theater of it. I'm talking to you now, Lev, because I know that you, you got your heart set for Elijah. And I just mean like one guilty verdict is not gonna erase how many years of precedent? I, 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 don't, I don't want you to get your hopes up. It sounds to me like you need to uh, examine your relationship with the criminal justice system. What do you think it can actually provide you this guilty verdict? What does it mean? History, change, context, hope. But is it justice? It doesn't bring him back. What is equal to a man's life to, how do you balance the scales? Just like five seconds ago, y'all weren't okay with jails, right? We were doing a lot of stuff for Mumia, but I guess jails are okay for white people. I know, I know, the prison industrial complex is a failure, but we still have to hold people accountable. Accountable, right? Accountable. Accounting what? Whom, to whom? It sounds like. Well, I got them. You playing video games in there? You're getting married in a few hours, for Christ's sake. Can you focus? Don't embarrass us in front of the rabbi, I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Literally, I gotta go. Um, I love you. I love you all. Wish me luck. I wish you could be here. I wish I could be there. Think about what justice looks like to you. Next time I see you, I'll be a married man. Well, yeah. <laughs> Damn. I don't know about that. I mean, actually, I do know. I reject that completely. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of felt it like it was kind of deep. You know what it made me think of? Um, and I'm not. I'm not saying justice is impossible uh, for Elijah. I just like about. Justice, like what it is, it made me think of Shavuot, right? Like, like we were waiting for the Ten Commandments at the bottom of Sinai. Like, like this God said that we're gonna get something, something real good. So we gotta devote all of our soul to Him to get it, and that's us. Like, sign me up, sign me up, something real good, something real. Some real good just for us, just us, just justice. And this, this higher power of good and evil, our American legal system, it's like the judicial system says, yep, yep, 
yep, you got it, but you got to pledge your allegiance though. And you got to believe me, you know, believe in me if you want me. I mean, I'll bestow it on you if you believe in me, invest in me, nobody else. And once you do, then I'll give you this very special thing that I call justice. This is covenant, but we got to make a patch. So, so you wait down there. And if you try to come marching up this hill for it, you know, if I catch you trying to peek behind my magic curtain, Wizard of Oz style, then I'm gonna kill you. I'm just gonna kill you. Cause you know, cause you know, if you're making too much of a stink or you protesting or whatever, like I'm just gonna kill you. And then, and then Moses in this case, cause who's Moses in this case? Moses would be, Moses is us. <laughs> We're the go-between, the, we're, we're, we're the lawyers, the activists. We, we are the defenders of the people. And so we go up to God and we're like, knock, knock, knock. Hey, G, the people, they want your something good. They're ready for it. So what is the deal? Where's it at? And then God, the judge, this, this, this the God judge system says, you know what? You got to wait because I need time. Always waiting. And, and yeah, um, tells us, I don't know, some other bullshit. And then, and then, and then someday it's like, okay, actually I'm going to appear on this day at this time for you to receive this special gift. We have a verdict. And then, and then God reveals it. And let's say it's a guilty verdict. Yes. You just, you just die. Like you're so happy, you just die. Like I've been saved. <laughs> We've been saved. But you didn't really die. No, you just you just get back up right where you were with all the same shit around you. And the only thing that's different is this one word. Guilty. It means it means what that this this one guy is just yeah his family's just really gonna miss him. People are gonna miss George Floyd. People are gonna miss Elijah. I miss Elijah. Yeah, no, I know, but then you are wedded, right? You you're just you're wedded for life to that verdict being justice for life for all. You chose it. It chose you. You y'all are married. So, yeah, I hope we like our bride. I hope, I hope it turns out the way we want long term. And if the judge, if the judge revealed not guilty, which he might, I mean, he might in, in, in this case. No. I mean, then you, then you also die? What? Like from sadness, you just die? He says not and you die because, because, because you heard the word not and you know after comes guilty, not guilty, you die and and again, you're not really dead. You just get up, right? Right where you left off, you know, all the same shit around you, except for this one word is different. Not guilty. And you see, you see that it was all a lie. You got nothing you were promised. And you realize, no, yeah, like we didn't marry the covenant because that shit's misleading. But we did marry God back there on that mountain. We married God. God, which means we are one with God, which means, which means we, we are God. <laughs> We're, we are, we are the judge and, and the jury. We can get just justice any way that we see fit. Lev has been praying in a position, mouthing a call, a plea that we can't hear. Lev? <laughs> Levy? Yeah. Lev? Bill? Hey, yeah, fuck, I can't talk. Lev just collapsed. I don't know if he's... Just what? Tati's... A dibbic? The fuck are you talking about? I can't talk right now. Lev is dying over here. I'm not dead. Oh, thank God. He's in. Okay, I think. Um, Bill, 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 slow down. Okay, okay. Um, I don't... Okay, she's talking. She's saying what? Possessed? Okay. Okay, 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 fine. Possessed. By, by what? By who?
He can live in any living vessel open and willing to receive him. Any vessel of love on any day, in any moment, if we are open, <laughs> we can receive. I love her, okay? <laughs> God, I love her more than anything in the world. It, it doesn't matter what I write. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm so happy I could die. I could literally die and be happy. I can't breathe. You're phenomenal. Her body is racked with someone else's pain. You're beautiful. And back to herself. <laughs> Help me. I love you. Elijah. What's up, Shandani? How you doing today? You at work? Now, because it's satellite? No, that's not it. Maybe I got it wrong then. It's not number seven. I thought it was. Okay, this, this cowboy be about. You know what? I tell y'all one theme song I really like from Cowboy Bebop. The real folk blues? Oh my god, bro. Yeah, that's it right there. Seishun Kyoso Kyoku. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. Why am I taking so much damage? What the fuck? Where am I taking all this damage from the minions? Bro, this shit is ridiculous.